Have you ever looked at your iPhone and thought, where did all my stories go? With countless photos and videos capturing memories, your iPhone can fill up faster than you expect. What if I told you that there's a simpler way to free up that space while keeping all your precious memories safe? In this guide, I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to transfer photos from your iPhone to an external hard drive. To transfer iPhone photos and videos to an external hard drive, first we need a compatible hard drive. I recommend buying a USB-C drive as they are compact and easy to carry. I have added some options with a link to our written guide in video description which you can check to buy one for yourself if you don't already have one. If you have an iPhone 14 series or an older iPhone, you will need to buy a hard drive with a lightning port. Again, I have added some good options in the video descriptions that you can check. With all that said, let's see how to transfer your photos and videos from an iPhone to an external SSD. First, you connect your external hard drive or SSD to the iPhone and open the Files app. Now, tap the Browse tab at the bottom right corner and you should see your external drive as an option under Locations. If you don't see your drive, don't worry. Your file app might be showing the last location you have navigated to. Tap the Browse button again and it will take you to the home page. Now, before we transfer the photos, let's open our external drive on iPhone and create a new folder. To do that, tap the three dot menu in the top right corner and tap on new folder. Give it a name and hit the done button to save changes. I recommend you do this so your photos are not mixed with other files on the hard drive. With the setup done, let's transfer some photos and videos. Launch the photos app on your iPhone and select the photos and videos you want to transfer. To do this, first tap the select button in the top right corner. Now you can tap on photos to select them individually. Drag your finger to quickly select multiple photos or tap the select all button to select all the images in one go. Now tap the share button in the bottom left corner and choose the save to files option. Tap the back navigation arrow on the top left corner until you reach the home page. Navigate to the folder we created and tap the save button to export all your photos. And that's it. You have now saved your iPhone photos to an external drive. If I long press on the file and select the get info button, you can see that the photo is in its original heap format. While the iPhone's heap format has several benefits, it doesn't play well with non-Apple devices like a Windows computer. Thankfully, you can export your photos to an external hard drive in JPEG format. Select the photos and tap the share button in the bottom left corner. Tap the options button and select the most compatible option. Tap the done button to save your preference. The rest of the steps are now the same. Tap the save to files option, navigate to the folder where you want to save the files and tap the save button to save the photos. Now, when I use the get info feature, you will see that the image has been converted into JPEG format. A point to note here is that this setting is fleeting, meaning you have to choose it every time you transfer photos to an external hard drive. Now, let's talk about export unmodified original options. When exporting iPhone photos to an external hard drive, you will notice that there's an export unmodified original option. As far as I can tell, this option removes all the edits you have made to the photos and videos in the Photos app before transferring them. It means it will transfer the photos as you captured them and will not include any edits you have made in the Photos app. So if you want to export an unmodified version of your photos or the raw photos you have captured to an external hard drive, choose this option instead. And there you have it. Watch this video next to learn how to resize images on an iPhone without needing a third party app. Also, if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.